Hi, I'm Chris Evans, and I play Cole in the Apple original film, Ghosted. It was uh, originally a, a pitch to me by a couple of writers, uh, Reese and Warnick, and, and they're, they're wonderful writers, very funny men, and, and it was just a great concept, just kind of a, a really tight comedy romance that, that I don't see very often, that I grew up on, movies like Romancing the Stone. Um, and, and so I said, yeah, I'm in, and, and they came up with... Uh, with the script and, and then we went and found Dexter and then Anna and then we all just kind of got our hands on the script and made a bunch of changes along the way and uh, yeah it's just been a really really fun collaborative process where everyone has kind of given their two cents and uh, I'm really proud of with, with what we came out with. I think the most important thing is believing that Cole and Sadie if put in another world really would be deeply in love with one another. It begins with these two people just kind of seeing each other and having this kind of uh, electric moment and wonderful first date and, and really being drawn to each other for different reasons, but, but, it, but it being something more than just a meet cute. It's something special. Um, and, and I think the more you believe in that connection, the more you root for them as a couple, the funnier it is when the circumstance kind of uh, makes them turn on each other a little bit and, and become somewhat adversarial throughout the movie. Broad strokes are that uh, they, they meet at a farmer's market uh, and they have this really wonderful 24-hour date. Uh, you know, the type of thing that you run home and you tell your friends and family and you say, oh my God, I met, I met the woman of my dreams. I can't even believe it. Um, and then Cole anticipates uh, that it will continue and he's texting Sadie and he gets no response and Cole kind of uh, doesn't read the room and he keeps texting and he keeps texting and assumes he must have been ghosted. Um, or that's what his sister tells him and he refuses to believe that and, and finds out that she's in London and thinks that the big sweeping romantic gesture would be show up and surprise her. A very uh, you know misguided decision but, but he does show up uh, and unfortunately gets mistaken for Sadie and Sadie happens to be on this super spy mission and Sadie uh, Cole gets kidnapped and, and then Sadie kind of is uh, burdened with him throughout the movie. He has this really close dynamic with his family and they know him so well so it, instead of having to show the audience exactly who Cole is you have other characters around him kind of declaring who he is and filling in those blanks and really providing a lot of needed backstory with a little bit of with with minimal page count and um, again it just kind of shows the domestic kind of very safe environment that Cole has kind of insulated himself in you know that, that Cole doesn't take risks um, and, and he doesn't really push himself much and hasn't for some time so the idea of going to London, just getting on a plane and going overseas is a huge deal to him. So the fact that he gets caught up in this world of spies and espionage is, is you know, a lot more than he can handle. Well, it's the first time Anna and I have been able to play uh, love interests, you know, in, in Knives Out we're obviously <laughs> adversarial, in Gray Man, same thing. Um, this is the first time uh, we actually are interested in one another as characters. and. And we, we still get the opportunity to argue and be combative. So it's this kind of nice blend. And, and Anna is so effortlessly cool and composed. And, um, you know, she's just one of those actresses that when you're watching, you lean in and, and you're interested. And um, she can handle comedy and drama and action so effortlessly that I, I've yet to see something she can't do. So. We were really lucky to have her, and um, makes my job a lot easier because if she's interested in me, if if Sadie's interested in Cole, the audience will be. Um, you know, so so her being the captivating force that she is makes my job a lot easier. I can't say enough about Adrian. I mean, obviously, he's Adrian Brody. He's he's one of the best actors working, um, but he has so much fun with this character. He's He's obviously a gifted dramatic actor, but oftentimes those really good dramatic actors are pretty good at comedy too, and, and Adrian's no exception. He's so funny because 
it's still so real. Even when he's playing a big character, even when he's kind of going a little over the top, which is what he does with Levesque, it's still rooted in something really authentic and grounded. And, and I think movies like this, if you don't have a good villain, I don't know if the kind of tripod stands. Um, so, so we were really lucky to get him and, and he, he manages to be a dangerous, menacing threat while still being pretty funny.